Hello everyone, I am Dr. Tanmay Vishwas. I welcome you all in my channel Tanmay Kim. Today's topic of discussion is on MCQ and the question is in front of you. What is the major product in this reaction? I request everyone please pause the video, try by yourself and whatever answer you get please write in the comment box along with few words as explanation. I believe we have tried so let's start. Now what is the major product in this reaction? By the way it's a two step reaction and it is a toluene aromatic hydrocarbon. So in this case I suggest student that let's go step wise but before going to details you can see more options are given six. Why I have given six options? Because this problem could be represented in front of you in a different way with four options. So that's the reason I'm representing all the possibilities I think deserving in front of you such that your preparation will be better. Now let's go to the mechanism step by step. The first step is chlorine and heat. What happened? In presence of heat, this Cl2 molecule undergo homolytic cleavage means this bond breaks equally and produce two Cl radical. By the way, this chlorine is actually a group 17 element. So very high electronegative and not only that, they are electron deficient too. And each of this chlorine has three electron pairs, means lone pairs. Now, when you give small amount of energy, this bond breaks very easily. Why? Because the adjacent lone pair, lone pair repulsion. Because of this repulsion, molecule is not stable. Now, if it is not stable, it got extra energy. In presence of that extra energy, this bond got broken, produced to Cl dot, means free radical. By the way, you can understand chlorine itself is a very reactive element because group 17 element, even it converted into chlorine dot, so even further reactive. Why? Because if you look at each of the chlorine atom in this Cl2 molecule, they are octet filled. So relatively stable compared to obviously this Cl dot. Why? Because each Cl dot having seven electron in its outermost shell. So from this you can understand they are incomplete octet. So very reactive. So what happened? They react. They can react with this toluene molecule. By the way, two options you can expect possible. First option is that this Cl radical can react with the benzylic proton. And what it can produce? It can produce benzyl radical, I mean CH2 dot. And the second option possible that it can react with any one of sp2 carbon, either ortho or para like that. It can produce this radical, let's take para position as for example, this is. Now here, this radical is in the sp2 hybridized orbital and it is not in conjugation with the benzene ring. Whereas, this radical is in conjugation with the benzene ring. How can I prove? So, you can show here, it will go there, it will go there. By the way, I am drawing half arrow every time. Why? Because it's a movement of single electron. This arrow is called fish hook arrow. Okay. So, I request everyone please write other canonical forms. In this next canonical form, this para position will have the radical, after that these ortho position. So in this way, the radical is delocalized into the benzene nucleus, radical is stabilized. So you can consider that this pathway is associated with lesser energy as the intermediate is moderately stable, this benzylic radical. So reaction will follow this pathway. By the way, how it does? So this is Cl radical, abstract proton from this CH bond and the one electron goes to CH2. In this way, reaction start. So first, this radical. Now, again, this Cl, this benzyl radical will react with another chlorine radical. And what it will result? It will result a benzyl chloride derivative. So this one, one electron combination. So product after the first step is CH2Cl. But if you go to the option, anywhere CH2Cl there? No. Actually, this tells us that, okay, it is not a mono substitution. So, reaction will continue and ultimately it will end up in the tri substitution. Means, all the proton, benzylic proton will be substituted by this Cl, then reaction will stop at here. Now, you may ask one question that, sir, when such kind of extra reaction chances there, then generally in exam it is written that Cl extra, or Cl2 extra, chlorine gas. So it is not written. How can I understand? Now in this case, you need to understand that what are the options given? That is the reason I have provided. Okay. Now you can say, sir, this chlorine possible as sometime before I have explained that such kind of reaction, this radical is not stable that such that in the next step, how chlorine can 
uh, attack in the para position or ortho position and result this so it will not so all last three options are dummy so if you want to get your right answer among first three option you need to write in this way this further chlorination so you can expect two step chlorination will take space and ultimately this trichloral derivative will be produced so this is the product now next next step is iron and br2 where the reaction will happen by the way all this benzylic proton is consumed gone now what is remaining here now bromine and iron by the way if you look at this reaction is actually second step is an example of aromatic electrophilic substitution now you can ask me that's an aromatic electrophilic substitution electrophile needed yes but is bromine exactly electrophile answer is no so how electrophile is generated actually if you look at bromine group 17 element very reactive so first step bromine reacts with this iron and it produces iron bromide now you may be confused that sir if bromine react with iron is there will be any bromine left which can react with this benzene ring or ccl3 like that yes because this iron is taken in a catalytic amount okay so these iron react with bromine and produce febr3 and actually if i say this iron 3 plus act as the lewis acid catalyst so iron 3 acts as lewis acid and in presence of lewis acid i mean febr3 these reacts with another molecule of br br2 molecule now why because as i told you that this is a lewis acidic means iron 3 electron deficient so one of the lone pair from this bromine will be donated to iron so consequently what happened it will be a adduct like br br f e b r 3 there is a minus there is a plus why because this bromine has donated electron density to iron so bromine will have a deficiency of electron density that is designated by positive charge iron gains some extra electron density that is designated by minus charge now next time now look at the bromine electronegative atom carrying positive charge is not that much stable so it will break down and what it will produce it will result in a br plus along with F E B R four minus. So this B R plus is the electrophile, and these will react. Now you may think, sir, where it will react? Right now your reactant is this one C C L three. By the way, if you look at C C L three group, it has a very strong minus I effect. Why? Because three electronegative chlorine atom attached with this carbon, they'll pull electron density through the sigma bond very strong minus so overall this ccl3 it shows a very strong minus i effect by the way i have previously discussed video on cf3 also cf3 group also shows very strong minus i effect ccl3 is not that much stronger but its minus i effect is also significantly stronger now what will be the consequence this pulls the electron density from this benzene ring from where it pulls majorly from ortho and para because we have studied that electron withdrawing group deactivates such aromatic ring for aromatic electrophilic substitution and if you want to do aromatic electrophilic substitution on such deactivated or electron withdrawing group attached benzene ring the aes takes place at the meta position by the way if you have if you want to look further i have already uploaded few lectures about such selectivity regio selectivity and the mechanism please visit for further learning i am not explaining how the reaction takes place here mechanism because it's a very common now still if you have doubt you can visit that video your doubt will be clear so there are two meta positions so one of these two will be brominated means substituted by the bromine atom the proton i'm talking will be substituted now here ccl3 now from there we understood this meta substituted is the product now let's go to the options what is the major product of this reaction obviously meta with option b now just imagine if this question appear in your exam less than 30 seconds how can you solve it is a pretty easy example student so you need to understand cl heat means radical condition so where the radical will react obviously benzylic position because the benzylic radical cation or anion are resonance stabilized through the conjugation with this phenyl so okay so first radical will be produced and first benzyl chloride 
So is there any benzyl chloride option given? Answer no. So you may ask, okay, sir, it may be a tri substitution. It may be like that. Second thing, as I told the logic that okay, this position aromatic ring, their radical at sp2 hybridized carbon is not stable. So if you look at op these three options already gone. By using logical approach, you can eliminate. So this is called process of elimination. Very helpful. Now next time, this much we understand. Okay, try substitution. Now next time is iron bromine. By the way, what is this? It's a Lewis acid. Means it will generate the electrophile beer uh, plus. So now fine. Now what about the CCl3? What is the nature of this group? It's withdrawing. So meta is the product. Agree? Now, this is the overall discussion. Now, I think someone may say, sir, it's a little tough, maybe, but student, you need to know some information because individually they are easy step, but question will not given that much easy. So, different steps are combined together and like that. And the main problem is not that the toughness, main problem is within how much time you can solve. I mean, in less than 30 seconds, you have to solve. For that purpose, you need to know this information and you need to do lots of practice. So I believe this video may be useful. So if you really consider the content of my channel is worthy, then please help this channel to grow. And if you have any doubt regarding the logo of my channel, please read this part. Your doubt will be clear. So see you in my next video. Bye-bye.